okay guys you can see the question written on the board it is very easy now the question says classify the following substances into atoms molecules ions and radicals now to answer this question is very easy now looking at option a which is simply h now whenever we see the symbol in chemistry h we simply call it hydrogen now it must be noted when that particular symbol is standing alone we simply say that that particular element called hydrogen is existing in its atomic state so looking at h here we simply call it hydrogen atom now for option b it is still hydrogen but now it is in the molecular form why is it in the molecular form it must be noted that a molecule is formed from at least two atoms so looking at this uh, particular substance this is a molecule because we have two atoms of hydrogen forming it so these are the atoms h bonding to h so when h bonds to h we have h2 so this is the molecular form of hydrogen so we call it hydrogen molecule looking at option c option c is still like option a it is simply chlorine as an element and chlorine is standing alone so what do i call it chlorine atom now looking at option d option d basically is co2 now co2 here is a molecule why is it a molecule it is a molecule because it is made up of different atoms now looking at this this is carbon atom whereby this is oxygen atom yes it is oxygen atom but here how many oxygen atom are we having we are having two atoms of oxygen so what do we have here it is simply carbon bonding to two atoms of oxygen okay so when we join them together we simply have co2 so that is that about option d so for option e which is co3 2 minus now co3 2 minus is a radical why is it a radical it is a radical because it is made up of various atoms bearing a charge that is what a radical is so you can see here that this is carbon atom and these are oxygen atoms so how many atoms of oxygen are we having here we are having three three atoms of oxygen so you can see that this is carbon atom this is oxygen atom bearing a particular charge so all of this atom bearing a particular charge forms a radical and what is this radical called it is called the carbonate radical it is called the carbonate radical now for the next which is option f this is sodium and this is a charge which is plus one so what does it mean this is just sodium atom and this sodium atom is bearing a charge so it must be noted a charged atom is simply called an ion a charged atom is simply called an ion but to be specific it is positively charged so we call it a cation now for option g which is cl minus this is simply an atom of chlorine but it is bearing a charge and this charge here is negative charge so it means that this atom will be called an ion but specifically an anion and for option h you already know why it is a radical so if you find this video helpful do well to click the subscribe button and also share this video to the friends thanks for watching